What is up, Bruin Bible listeners? This is your host, Will Decker. We've got a very special sponsor to lead us off. We got Bet Online. Bet Online remains your number one source for all your baseball betting needs this season as it is officially opening day. Get analysis of every play, prop, and points at Bet Online. You'll find the latest odds, bracket contests, team matchups, and game trends at Bet Online as a whole. Uh, Bet Online is your baseball, basketball, uh, football headquarters this season. Head to our website today and use our mobile device to sign up and receive your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Be sure to use your promo code, uh, believe, to receive your bonus pay. Bet Align, where the game starts now to the Bruin Bible. What's up, Bruin Bible listeners? This is your host, Will Decker. Uh, apologies on the quiet week. We had a lot of cancellations, a lot of people that couldn't make the podcast. It was frustrating. I hate doing these solo, but I got to make sure I'm giving content out to you guys. And, you know, we're going to have a lot more content coming this week. We've got uh, UCLA spring practice officially open to the public Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. I'm going to be there for the first two weeks on those dates. Uh, would love to see you guys out there loud and proud for our UCLA Bruins. So let me know if we can make something happen. Let's pack. You know, our goal is to pack the Rose Bowl this year. Let's pack the practice field to start that off and make sure we're progressing in the right way. Let's start. UCLA uh, had a very, very big addition to the coaching staff. Uh, Director of leadership was hired with the with the coach of Navy, Ken Niamatalololo. Ken Niamatalololo, uh, for those who are unfamiliar, is a three-time American Conference Coach of the Year. He coached the Navy midshipmen. Uh, he's the all-time leader in wins at Navy with a record of 109 to 86. Very, very credible coach. Graduated a lot of his players, did things the right way. Um, unfortunately, he was fired at his locker um, this past fall after losing to Army in double overtime. I don't think that's a way you should have gone about that. Uh, Kenny Montalololo is a guy that, you know, he, he has been to 10 bowl games as the head coach of Navy. And just knowing what we know about recruiting and how hard it is to recruit at your armies, your navies, uh, your air forces. The fact he was able to get to 10 bowl games in that amount of time is incredibly, incredibly impressive. And to do, to develop that talent to a point where you're going to bowl games that consistently, Niamh Lolo is a heck of an addition to the Bruins coaching staff as a whole. And, you know, it doesn't come without ties. You know, his son, uh, Alil Niamh Lolo, and apologies if I mispronounce the name, uh, his son is an offensive analyst, uh, you know, on the offensive line for UCLA. He previously was a tight end at Utah. And he is also connected with Bryce McDonald, who is the chief of staff for UCLA football, as well as Brian Norwood, who he is coached with since the 90s, who Brian Norwood has an executive role kind of with the UCLA staff, um, no longer the secondary coach, but still with the program. So just a lot of connections for Niamh Lolo to come to Westwood. And I think it's going to be one that's welcome. I mean, when you really break down what Chip is doing with this coaching staff about just bringing in a lot of credible voices, whether it's it's Clancy Pendergrass, it's, you know, Deshaun Foster continues to be one of the best running back coaches in the country. Tim Drevno, like we saw what this guy did with the offensive line last year. One of the best jobs, I think, in the country in terms of getting his players from game one to game 12, you know, in terms of them being prepared and ready to play. It's just, it's very, very awesome. And you just see some of the hires that they've made, you know, your DeAnton Linz, who we'll get into in a second, as well as your Cody Whitfields, people like that. It's just a very, very exciting time to be a UCLA fan. And you couple that with what they've done, the transfer portal, Dante Moore coming in, there's receivings come, there's receivers coming in, whether it's the Sturdivants, whether it's the Kyle Ford, the tight end route. This is the most loaded UCLA roster, and you're building upon that with another credible voice to come into the coaching room. I think it's going to be a wonderful, wonderful thing for UCLA football just to have Niamh Lololo come through for UCLA, and it's just a very, very exciting time. Uh, so I wanted to, I want to start off with this. I think just a, 
a grade. Let's, let's grade the new hires to the coaching staff. So Niamh Lolo, Cody Whitfield, and DeAnton Lynn. So what I said about Niamh Lolo, you know, I mentioned he, traditionally speaking, um, was a very, very productive coach. Great leader. He graduated a lot of his players at Navy, made sure they were competitive, Brings a different dynamic to the team. You know, he was the first Samoan coach at any level in college football, which is just incredibly cool to add just a different background. You know, he's the second Polynesian coach as well to be a head coach in college football. So just a guy with a very incredible background uh, and just very, very skilled at what he does. So I think when you look at these six and four in bowl games and the record and just the voice he brings to the room, I don't know how this is not an A grade. I, I think – Getting Niamh Lalolo and just adding him to the room of voices we can hear from is very, very special. So I'm going to give Niamh Lalolo an A. Let's go to DeAnton Lynn now. DeAnton Lynn, this is a guy that has the pedigree in terms of being that young coach as well as having an NFL background that I think we were really gunning for. I think the young coaches nowadays is kind of the hot trend in terms of elevating talent and making sure you're putting – you know, the best product out there. And anyone that knows me knows we have a lot of talent in the secondary, whether it's Kirkwood, it's Davies, it's, you know, Jordan Anderson who came from Bowling Green, you know, whether it's, you know, uh, Kamari Ramsey, RJ Jones is back there. We have a lot of guys that could have played at multiple, you know, different universities at high level, but they chose to come to UCLA. I think DeAnton Lynn is going to get the best out of them. I'm really, really excited for what he can potentially bring. Um, you know, he was an intern with the New York Jets in 2014 under Rex Ryan. He followed him to the Buffalo Bills in 2015 and 2016. Then went to the Chargers to work with his dad, Anthony Lynn. Then with the Texans, secondary coach. And then he went to the Ravens with John Harbaugh. All those guys are very credible, you know, coaches. They don't just take in anybody. You have to earn your piece there. And DeAnton Lynn comes highly recommended. You know, a former four-star player himself. He went to Penn State University. He did some great things. He played in the NFL for a hot second with the Jets. So DeAnton Lynn is a guy that I just think is going to change the mentality. He's going to change the coaching schematics of UCLA football moving forward. I just think he's going to be a hell of a player as we continue to progress. So DeAnton Lynn, I think I would probably go with a B just because he's relatively unproven at the position but it checks all the boxes in terms of what we were looking for. So he's going to have to prove it. You know, this is a defensive coordinator position where Chip Kelly has had as an arrow and he's had McGovern. McGovern was decent to start, but, you know, unfortunately due to his health issues, you know, it was tough for him to kind of keep that defense to the high level that we expected last year. So I'm, I'm going to give it a B and it, it can be a little bit better moving forward. I think we have a bright future. I think we have a loaded, loaded defense this year. Ken Norton Jr. in the linebacking room, what he's doing, lots of returning on the defensive line, the Murphy twins, things of that nature. So I will give this one a B. And then the last guy I want to talk about is Cody Whitfield. Cody Whitfield, um, a guy that was an analyst uh, for UCLA. He's now the secondaries coach specifically. Uh, he came from UCLA. He played college ball at actually Stanford. Went back into coaching, uh, went up to Sacramento State, and he played a very crucial part of Sacramento State completely turning around their program. They had an 11-0 regular season last year, and they actually reached the quarterfinal of the FCS playoffs in his only year with the defensive backs. Um, he was on the Bruins staff in the secondary when he really assisted with Quantra's Knight and Quinn Lake, who were kind of the, the leaders of the secondary. Both had great words to say about Cody Whitfield moving forward. Um just a guy that I think is a very quality hire and somebody that is familiar with UCLA enough, having been here two years, uh, you know, from the 2020 and 2021 season till now. So I'm excited. I'm going to put this one at a B plus. He doesn't have the high stakes as a DeAnton Lynn does, but I love what he can bring to the room, his familiarity with Westwood. And, you know, he really coached those guys up where Quantra's Knight and Quentin Lake are, you know, part of NFL rosters right now. These are guys that are competing for starting jobs, you know, come, come, uh, you know, fall practice. So really, really pumped on Cody Whitfield. I got an A for Niamh Lolo. I've got a B uh, straight up for a guy, D'Anton Lynn. I got a B plus for Cody Whitfield. 
I apologize on the short content this week once again, guys, but we got much more content coming your way from LA Football Network all this week. Much love, guys. I'll be talking to you soon.